Hey, and welcome to Vegan Steven's Food for All, where I show you the foods I cook in my vegan kitchen, and you should try them too, because it's good for you, your kids, their kids, and the earth. Today I want to show you how I make my favorite side dish, cucumber salad. With just seven ingredients, five of which you'll find in your pantry, this is great for any night of the week. It's fresh, tangy, and crisp, with a hint of sweetness. And with a cost of just 77 cents per serving, this cucumber salad pairs well with any heavier main course. Let's check out our ingredients. First, cucumber. The original recipe for this actually comes from the Betty Crocker website. That recipe calls for two medium cucumbers. I have three here because I thought I'd make a big batch. You'll see later, I end up only using two. I'll be using a mandolin to slice thin, even slices of cucumber. Now I've been making this cucumber salad for years, so I've strayed from the original recipe some. One thing I've added is red onion. We'll add just a bit of this to serve as a nice flavor and textural contrast to the cucumber. And like the cucumber, we'll slice it thinly using the mandolin. Next are ingredients for what's essentially a marinade for the vegetables. Apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar. This is Bragg's Organic. Highly recommended. Next, red wine vinegar. The original recipe calls for just one type of vinegar. I'm using two here to balance out their properties. The apple cider vinegar is a bit sweeter and the red wine vinegar a bit sharper. Together they'll marry into harmonious bliss. Sugar to balance the acidity of the vinegar. Salt and pepper to season. It's important to salt the marinade properly or the whole thing will taste bland. And lastly, some measuring spoons because they're fun to toss around. Oh, let's have a measuring spoon duel. Last one to stay on the board wins. Failure. And the winner is the teaspoon. It was the most massive of our spoons, so that result makes sense inertially. Let's make some cucumber salad. Here's the mandolin that actually shouldn't be in this shot. A half cup measurement for our vinegar and a container to first shake together our marinade then toss our prepped cucumber and red onion in and shake some more. Everything comes together in this one container, which makes for easy prep and easy cleanup. First, our vinegar. We'll use a half cup total, but I'll split that between my two vinegars. In halfway with the apple cider vinegar. To the top with red wine vinegar and into our container. Next, we'll add an equal part of water to mellow out the vinegar. Be right back. There we are. Now our sugar. The original recipe calls for two tablespoons, but I used a bit more vinegar than the recipe called for, so I'll also add a bit more sugar, about two and a half tablespoons. Next, a half teaspoon salt, plus a smidge more, and an eighth teaspoon of pepper. I'm eyeballing this one. On with the lid, and give it the old Harlem shake. There we are. Here's a close up taste. Mine needed a pinch more salt, more pepper, and a little bit of sugar. Taste again. And a bit more red wine vinegar. This should taste super flavorful with a nice balance of sweetness and tanginess. Add sugar for sweetness, vinegar for tanginess, and salt to amplify the flavors. Now to prep our veggies. I'm using a mandolin to ensure perfect even slices, but a knife would do just fine. Drop top a cucumber and slice a few testers. Mine were too thin, so I widened my setting. More testers. Too thick, so I found a nice middle ground. Perfect, just about an eighth of an inch. Finish through the cucumber, then repeat with another. Here's a real-time shot so you can see how quickly the mandolin finishes the cucumber. It's worth investing in a mandolin if you don't have one already. And because I get to do whatever I want on my channel, here's a slow-mo shot of me dropping cucumbers. That was fun. Into our container with the cucumber.
Now for the red onion. Chop off the non-root end, slice in half, and remove the peel. We'll use just one half for this dish. Now if we slice the onion at this point, the slices would be too long and we'd risk the onion overpowering the cucumber. Thus, we'll chop it in half lengthwise. Zoomed in now. I have my mandolin set to the thinnest setting because the red onion is quite assertive compared to the cucumber. A few testers. Perfect. If you don't have a mandolin, slice these as thinly as you can. Beautiful. Bring back your mixing container and drop in some red onion. I'm eyeballing this here. The red onion is there to accent the cucumber, not to overpower it. This is cucumber salad after all. I ended up adding in all of mine, but make your own call depending on your affinity for red onion. The acidity of the vinegar will tame down the onion quite a bit and bring out its natural sweetness. Give your marinade one last taste. This is what everything will taste like, so you want it to be really good. I added a pinch of salt and a few cracks of pepper. Give that a shake. We'll set this in the fridge for about 30 minutes like this, then flip it over for another 30 minutes to ensure all of the cucumbers are well marinated. Total marinade time is at least an hour, but up to overnight. I like to press everything down to maximize flavor absorption. We're off to dinner now, but I'll be back in a few hours to see how this turned out. Back from dinner, got Ellie an arm, let's check on our cucumber salad. Back over here we go. Drop your cat. She's a little camera shy. Give your salad the old mixy mix. Give it a taste. Wow, that's good. Let the liquid drain from your salad and place in a bowl to serve. Now time for a special moment, our first ever live taste. All right, let's try some cucumber salad. Very good. The vinegar tamed down the red onion nicely. It's got good tang from that red wine vinegar. A little bit of sweetness from the apple cider vinegar and the sugar, of course. Could use a little bit more pepper. Off camera, I'll add a little bit. Saltiness is spot on. It's a great side dish uh, for any sort of like heavy meal. We actually just got back from eating vegan fried chicken from um, Vitri Soul Food. Veltri. Veltri Soul Food. And this is really like cleansing my palate nicely. I highly recommend it along any sort of uh, heavy meal. Really, really simple, but one of those things that uh, is the way it is because it's pretty much perfect. Yeah, give it a shot, cucumber salad. Happy cooking. I hope you'll try this at home. It's refreshing and addictive. It really does make a great side for any heavy meal. Total cost is $3.07 for four servings. That's just 77 cents per serving. Check the video description for an itemized cost breakdown. Support me by subscribing to this channel, telling a friend about it, following me on Instagram, and consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Thanks.